Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome to re to my back to my ten year Ninjago project. So today we're going to end on reason number seven of what makes Ninjago so good. Yesterday I talked about the soundtrack made the soundtrack how it's it creates the aesthetic for a certain scene and in and how. It's an underrated part of the series. Now, obviously, with this next reason, people often confuse it with this with the soundtrack. But, be honest. But, it's a completely different thing. Of course, I'm referring to everyone, everyone's favorite ninja rock band, The Fold. So, obviously, if you don't know who The Fold is, you've pretty much been living under a rock this entire time. Um, the Fold is a pop rock band. They created music for quite a long time. I think almost 20 years, I think. Um, and they didn't start working for Ninjago until around 2010, 2011, when Ninjago first came out. When they did their own little pitch for the weekend web. Now, this is actually a fun fact. The Fall was actually not the original option to sing the the weekend whip. It was actually going to be all the voice actors of the series, but but the showrunners thought that the folds version was better, so they went with the folds version. So the fold has created lots of weekend rip weekend whip remixes, such as the the ever popular ghost whip, the temporal whip, rift whip, and more recently the Shintaro dungeon whip. This the weekend whip has become synonymous with Ninjago, and it's pr and but they have created uh, some other Ninjago songs such as After the Blackout, Eye of the Storm, The Time Is Now, Rise of the Vermilion, Bring on the Pirates, The Ninja Roll, Enter the Tournament, and uh We Are Ninja, Spinning Out Color, and so much more. And they recently kind of went into a comeback, and for some reason, they're only producing the whips now. I don't know why they kind of stopped making uh, the non-Ninjago songs. Um, and speaking of that, um, non-Ninjago songs, I actually have finished a countdown list of my 10 personal favorite um, non-Ninjago songs, so keep out for that. Um, ne now, the fold... It provides a lot of hit tracks that I have to dance to, and um, I and Ninjago would honestly would not be the same without the work of Dan and George Cassidy, along with uh, I forgot the names of the two other guys, Matt and Nate. I think yeah, I know Matt is the the bass guy. I think he's the bass guy. Um. I don't know the members of the fold very well. I'm so sorry. But the fold have also created their own music separate from Ninjago. They've created a few albums. Do Future Come Hold Me, Secrets Keep You Sick, This Too Shall Pass, and Moving Past. Um, with songs from their, such as The Different Kind of Disease, Secrets Keep You Sick, This Too Shall Pass, Closer to the Ground, Another World, Life is a Song, and Bye Bye Love. So, you don't have to listen to their ju to just their Ninjago stuff. You could listen to their almost general stuff. And hopefully, hopefully the folk can create another album um, pretty soon. Especially since they recently released uh, another single titled Young and Free. Which, you know, you could check out all their music on their official YouTube channel, which I will link in the description. But what do you guys think about The Fold and how influential they are to creating some of Ninjago's masterpieces, masterpiece songs? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red subscribe button, and click on the notification button to see every video that I will upload. Stay tuned for reason number six of why I think Ninjago is just so good. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.